he got out of the 2021 election bruised. The whole world saw Museveni for the military dictator that he is, and he cannot take that anymore. And that is why he wants to scrap elections. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you, Ugandans from every corner of Uganda and from all over the world, that this is the last opportunity that you have. I told you in 2017 that you need to rise up and defend the Constitution before the Constitution is too weak to defend you. The Constitution has been demoralized. It has been raped and defiled numerous times. Now it is upon the people of Uganda. So it is now that I want to call upon all of you, the people of Uganda. We cannot leave this to only the members of parliament. We cannot only leave this to the mayors or the elected leaders. It is everybody's responsibility, ladies and gentlemen. All of you now, it's no longer a secret that Museveni is trying to impose his spoiled son on the people of Uganda. And it is clear to him that the people of Uganda have rejected him and his spoiled son. It is clear that they stand no chance in a democratic election. But because he has always been using the parliament, which he bribes and intimidates, and there are fewer people, he wants to take that to the parliament. I'm telling you today, that will not work. I'm telling you, Mr. Museveni, that will not work. The people of Uganda, as per the constitution, no matter how many times you've abrogated it, the people of Uganda still have the power over their destiny. And the power that you're trying to take away from the people will not be as easy as you think it will be. But again, ladies and gentlemen, we are not only going to talk about this. We can only remind you, we can only open your eyes, but remember that this is your country. Slowly by slowly, you are being enslaved in your own country. Just like you open your eyes to the realities from 2017 to 2021, I'm calling upon all of you, ladies and gentlemen, to take this upon yourselves whether you are MP or mayor or councillor, whether you're ordinary citizen, whether you're farmer, student, young or old, rich or poor, this is about you. Nobody is safe in a dictatorship. I want to say to you once more, like I said to you in 2017, rise up and defend the constitution before the constitution is too weak to defend you. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for God and my country.